Welcome back everybody. The shower floor is in, ready to dance on. I'm standing on it right now. In today's video, I'm gonna start working on the wall. You gotta give here, take there, so that you don't have tiny tiles. Don't want your tiny tiles at the top, the bottom, underneath your niche. Now before we do that, I've realized that the lighting in here is not very good. I've got one shop light plugged into the wall right there and that's it. Up here in the ceiling is a wire and it's up there ready for the shower light. And inside that wall is the wire ready for the light that goes over the vanity. So before I get started with the tile, I'm gonna try to improve our lighting situation and install this light right up here in the shower. Um, oh, this is the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Is that good or what? Perfect. These new style remodel boxes come with a place for your Romex. These little quick connectors, just an LED light. So you don't need to be cutting these off and using wire nuts. All right, got the light on. Only took a few minutes. I should have done that a while ago. Uh, hopefully the colors, the video quality is better because we got a nice overhead light instead of a, a side light from the shop light. The next phase is to lay the tile out and I've got it all laid out on the floor, just how it would go up on the wall here. And I've got to make measurement of where I'm going to do my cuts. I'm not going to do a ledger board on this shower. Something I commonly do in other showers, it's not necessary for this one. The first row of tiles is going to be sitting directly on floor tile. And I'll have to scribe the bottom of that first row just because of the shape of the shower pan. So here's the tile all laid out. And I'm going to have to cut both the bottom and the top. A full tile isn't going to land anywhere. So what I'll do is I've got my 88 inches marked out. I'll just put a piece of tape down and the way I have it spaced now is there's going to be a six inch piece here and a six inch piece there and then we'll have oh, a bunch cut off of this one but we'll have more than three quarters of a tile on the big one and we'll have a six inch down here. Now we're going to still don't know if that's going to work. I may have to adjust that up or down but I don't want to get I do not want to get these down to like two inch tiles. The reason I would adjust it up or down is the niche. I don't want skinny tiles around the niche. There is a little bit of luck involved here. So 42 puts us almost in the center of this big one. And 55 and a half puts us almost in the center of this one. I've got a new tool to show you. It's a, little, it's a new laser beam setup. And I'll also be transferring lines onto the wall, uh, make sure everything's gonna lay out. And here's my initial laser setup. This is the Bosch uh, GL30, I think. I'll put a link down in the description. It comes with this bracket here. It works, it's okay, but it's not very precise. Now this pole here, is a game changer. It can allow a laser in a lot of different configurations. This is just one of them using the spring pole and the beam, of course, because I, I don't have a flat ceiling. It also comes with a tripod that the yellow part slides into. Got rid of the microphone, getting in the way, I'll speak up. This is the long tile for the first row. It's gonna go right there. Now I need a short tile for the next one that is gonna set up the staggered pattern of like a 50% offset. You can get away with just using a level. So what I'll do is I'll set this up here uh, at my short tile, because I'm gonna have a long, a 
short. And I'll be measuring off this level line down to this sloped shower pan. So up here in the corners, it starts going uphill. So that distance is going to change from right here in the middle. Uh, it's going to be a little bit longer. Not going to be a lot, but a, a little bit. Today's video is sponsored by Policy Genius. If you've got anyone that relies on your income, you need to get yourself some life insurance. Policy Genius is your one stop marketplace to find and buy the coverage you need. In my situation, I've got a lot of young kids and they rely on my income and their future depends on my income. So having an extra level of financial security, they're covered. So here's how it works. It's easy to get started. Click the link in the description, policygenius.com slash handyman, and answer a few questions about yourself. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find the lowest price and coverage you need. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Their team of licensed experts will help you understand your options and ensure you apply for the right policy. Policy Genius works for you and not the insurance companies. So you can trust them to offer unbiased advice and help you navigate every step of the shopping and buying experience. When you're ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle the paperwork and scheduling for free. Now head over to policygenius.com slash handyman to get your life insurance quotes and see how much you can save. All right, so I got my initial layer or my foundation for the tile up. I'm gonna go through, use my fancy hammer to knock these off, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's one of my favorite hammers right here. These tile spacers slash levelers, I don't recommend at least this specific brand. Um, I've, this is the second kind that I've tried and I don't like them. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description of what I think would be the best. But you can reuse these. You just drop these back in the bucket. And these little tails here are garbage. The base stays behind the tile. You may notice I've got a couple U shims in here. I do recommend these. These are 16th inch and these are 16th inch. So they can be used together. They're the same exact thickness. And I'm gonna be using a new product that I haven't used before. It is a Schluter bullnose that goes around and is kind of like a trim for the edge of the tile. So what I'm gonna to have to do is assemble this picture frame and it, it comes with corners. So that's how you adjoin them is there are corners and it's gonna get taped up there. Um, we'll figure it out. It's gonna be a learning process for me and I'll, I'll let you know what works best. We're in my workshop now. I didn't have the right tools to do the cuts properly at the bathroom. And I said, I got the right tools at home. I got this big workbench to work on. So I took the measurements, 13 and a quarter legs and 35 and a half inches wide to make this picture frame out of this Schluter edging, whatever you want to call it. This one is the bull nose. And it, uh, for the price that you pay, so we just want one of these sticks here is $26. 
it's quite pricey, <laughs> to say the least. So uh, I previously had mentioned about needing factory edges because um, when you cut these, you don't always get a perfect true cut. But if you've got the right tools like I do at the workshop, you get a better than factory cut. Um, I've got this Evolution chop saw, miter saw, right there. Uh, it's a 2018 model, and they actually just sent me a 2022 model. They sent me a floor stand right there. I've got another metal carbide chop saw over there. And believe it or not, they sent me another one because they had too much warehouse stuff in their warehouse. It's another one over here. I use the old school one, the 2018 model. That's decent. Uh, it's it's priced accordingly. You get exactly what you pay for. Let's see if we get some good lighting in here. Look at that cut. Not a not a jagged mark at all. But you know you get you do have the exposed aluminum on the edge. You shouldn't see that. And I may put a slight bevel on this with a file, and grout over it so on this specific one it would be a, a butt joint i would like it if there were legs on both corners so that it was like locked together but this one will lock into the crossbar and then sit on top of it just like that uh, but that's what i'm going to do right now uh, i'm going to show you the new saw they send me a new saw i'm going to show off the saw okay here we go it's, i just plugged it in i haven't touched it Let's see if it's got the slow start up and the weird grinding noise. It's kind of a rattly grinding noise. It's a weird sound. And it doesn't seem like it's got the RPM of the old saw. And it definitely doesn't have the RPM of a normal uh, chop saw, compound sliding miter saw. Anyways, we're gonna get back to work cutting some of this aluminum corner. Okay, here we go. These things are notorious for these little, the little webbing in here to catch and fling in. So I'm not gonna be surprised if that happens. Like butter. There you go perfect cut so this is how it's going to go into the niche don't you hate when people say niche niche instead of niche it's a it's a, it's a niche so it's 35 and a half from the outside and because we've got these little corners we have to take off two of them because this distance here is going to fill in to the other leg so we got to subtract two of these these are exactly a half inch so we're going to do 34 and a half Hopefully my math is better today than it was yesterday. I might make a, a Patreon only video about my bad math. Beautiful cut. So this is how it's gonna be set up in the wall. Picture this being the long, the long side of the shower. That's the niche. This is going on the inside of the niche. I'm gonna tile the entire niche before I put the outside tile on. I'm thinking that this will go in and be fully bonded to the inside of the niche with tile on it. And this will provide like a ledger board for the tile that sits on top of it. Not much of a fan of these corners, uh, I'm tempted to miter cut them. Uh, so as of right now, this video is getting pretty long. Uh, leave a comment below. Do you like these older style videos? Because I have my old school videos where I didn't say a word. Then there was kind of like my mid-career where I talked a lot, showed you a lot of stuff like this. And more recently, I don't do much talking at all. Play the mariachi music and go to work. Uh, let me know what you like down in the comments. Uh, because a lot of this would have gotten cut and you would never have known about it, uh, you may not care about it. That, put that also down in the comments. Now get, get back to work handy. You know, play the disco 70s music and get groovy. All right, time to go do the, ni the niche.
So that's the end of today's video. The next video, probably gonna be the side tiles. I may make it an extra long video and include the massive shower door. I think it weighs four or 500 pounds. One thing I do wanna do on the next video when I'm putting the tiles on the side walls is address a couple uh, myths on installing tile. Um, it seems like there's a trend in the pro YouTuber tile installer world. They, they have to do a few things or else the entire building will collapse on itself. All jokes aside, there are some things that pro YouTube tilers do that nobody else does. Nobody else does it. Maybe it's because their viewers are very new to tile and that's why they tell them to do these things that nobody else does. I'm going to show it to you, call out this, this thing that they're doing, uh, and show you a couple different methods and let you decide. <laughs> let you use your intelligence in figuring out whether it's necessary or not. If you think you know what I'm talking about, put that down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.